Saddam Hussein built Al Four Palace on the western edge of Baghdad, a fortress surrounded by a moat. His initials can still be seen on the columns outside. It is now Camp Victory, renamed by its American owners, although the Iraqis will soon want their palaces back. Today it was the site of a handover, as the command of US forces in Iraq passed from General David Petraeus to General Ray Odierno. A surge of American troops and the Sunni awakening have seen violence fall dramatically under General Petraeus. A day earlier, the Iraqi military honored the outgoing General Petraeus at a ceremony that also marked America's delivery of M-16s and armored Humvees to Iraqi troops. The American flag was briefly flown over the Iraqi Defense Ministry in the Green Zone. General Petraeus accepted the plaudits, but warned the job is not done yet. Innumerable challenges remain, and tough fights still lie ahead. General Petraeus now moves up to head the American military's central command, overseeing Afghanistan as well as Iraq. The Defense Secretary, Robert Gates, attended the handover ceremony at Camp Victory today. He spoke of how, when General Petraeus took charge 19 months ago, people questioned whether any new strategy could make a difference. General Odierno, formerly Petraeus's number two in Iraq, faces the task of improving the security situation with fewer troops. You know, we are in a fragile state now. What I want to do is build it to a more stable stable state and I think we're in the process of doing it. It just takes some time and it's slow. Odierno looks to the Iraqis to take over securing their own country and the American military taking more of a back seat. Iraq is becoming a more sovereign nation. Uh, Iraq is going to take on more of the responsibility and it's, 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 it's my job to make sure that we're able to do that in a very smooth way where uh, we don't fall back.